Chemung County is home to figures in places of many different media, along with other forms of illegal media. People like author Mark Twain coming up to write his stories in his study. Hale Roach, director and filmmaker of The Little Rascals in the 20s. And Eileen Collins, astronaut and the first woman to command and pilot the space shuttle, called this place home at a time in their lives. Chemung is also home to some significant landmarks in the U.S., with the Woodlawn National Cemetery being tended to by John W. Jones during the Civil War. Other examples include the Schweitzer Aircraft Company, in turn, Harris Hill, also known as the soaring capital of the world. Apart from the complete destruction of the economy due to the 1972 flood and the massive amount of crime, Chemung County is a place full of interest in aviation and space because of Eileen Collins and Harris Hill. Eileen Collins was born in Elmira, New York on November 19, 1956. She went to and graduated from the now Ernie Davis Academy, a local high school. When it comes to college, she went to Corning Community College, Syracuse University, Stafford College, and Webster University, studying an array of mathematics, science, operations management, and space systems management. She then went into the Air Force to enter the test pilot program in 1978, training with other women to become astronauts. With the experience she gained in training, she became an instructor, both teaching math and how to fly. She continued her instruction up until she was selected to be an astronaut in 1990. She would go on her first mission aboard STS-63 on Discovery on February 11, 1995, becoming the first woman astronaut to pilot the space shuttle. She would be involved in three more missions after STS-63. STS-114 was significant in more than one way. This was the first space shuttle flight after the Columbia accident in 2003, resulting in the death of seven astronauts, and in turn, a halt to the space shuttle program for about a year. It would also mark the first time a woman would command the space shuttle. This would be the last of her space flights, ending in her retirement in 2006. She continues to talk about her experiences and encourages the next generation of astronauts to follow their dreams. Aviation in America is better known through means of powered flight. The Wright brothers' first flight in 1903, Chuck Yeager's supersonic flight in 1947, and the first flight of the space shuttle in 1981 are examples of flight that define the capabilities of the U.S. Another form of aviation that the U.S. is known for is soaring. Soaring is a form of flight that uses gliders, planes without engines. Well, it's a bit more complicated than that, but I'm restricted to only five minutes to explain it. Anyways. Chemung County is home of the soaring capital of America, Harris Hill. Harris Hill was one of many testing sites for launching gliders in the hill-filled Chemung County Valley. It was created in 1930 to hold the first U.S. National Soaring Contest, holding that contest up until the U.S. got involved in World War II. It's kind of like a little slice of paradise, as opposed to flying at a typical airport, weather towered or non towered. You, you're very, it's silent flight and just like Neil Armstrong says it's the closest thing you could get to being a bird. At the war's end the site became the host of Harris Hill Soaring Corporation and the National Soaring Museum. Since then the airfield has hosted many regional and international events. It continues to hold contests but more at a regional level than international. The hill also hosts the international vintage sailplane meet. Oh I thought it was so amazing. Pure glider activity that, that I saw was something that I had never been exposed to and the, um, the just everybody around around you being focused on the love of the sport. Apart from the physicality of the airport, the club and organization include members who will later become airline pilots, military pilots, and people who just want to fly like me. The Hill is and continues to be the gateway for those interested in aviation. <laughs> 